today you're going to be sewing the J of your pants. So what we're gonna do is I have already pre-measured my 5 eighths inch line with chalk. 5 eighths is approximately a little bit more than half inch, a half an inch. It's an eighth of an inch more than a half. And I've made my marks all the way up. And if I've done it correctly, when I place it into my sewing machine, the edge of my fabric should be at the blue line. I'm gonna go ahead, my machine is threaded and I've tested it. I'm gonna go ahead and place my fabric underneath my presser foot and lower the presser foot. I'm gonna hold the two threads and turn the wheel two times or three times and get some stitches in by hand. I'm gonna let go of that thread. I'm gonna place my foot on the gas pedal. I'm gonna get, get my hands here, ready to go. I'm gonna go forward a couple stitches. I'm gonna reverse and go back and back stitch. Then I'm gonna to try to follow not only the line that I've made here, but also this here, um, the blue tape. Now, I can sew right over the pins if I want to. The curve is hard, so just kind of go slow and steady. Once I get to a pin, if I'm afraid to leave it in, turn the wheel so the needle is in the fabric, take out the pin, and then continue sewing if you're worried. This is where we have the notch. We want to ignore the notch, just like it's not even there, and we're going to continue sew. Notice that my right hand is in the back and my left hand is in front. If you swap it out, put your left hand in the front, right hand in the back to guide it. Keep it along that blue line. When you get to the very end, you're gonna sew all the way forward and back stitch to the very end. When you're finished, lift up the presser foot, turn the wheel so the needle and take blubber irons up, then go ahead and cut off the thread. And that's how you sew the J with a back stitch at the beginning and the end.